Good morning, bro. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the seasons of self-improvement, and I'm gonna give you a full guide, basically telling you when to do what while you're on your self-improvement journey. So I'm not gonna waste any time doing an intro or anything like that. I'm just gonna get straight into it. And um, season zero is the total Jeffrey season. This is the season where self-improvement might not even be in your consciousness, as in it's not even in your brain at all. You might have seen a few videos from Hamza and Iman Gadzi and First Man and so on, but you haven't internalized the advice that they have given and you haven't even started implementing anything that they recommend. This is the season where you have tons of bad habits and not even just bad habits, you also have very, very few good habits. During this season, you are likely to be the kind of man who indulges in the big five bad habits of the modern world, which are pornography addiction, partying addiction, social media addiction, procrastination addiction, and sedentary lifestyle addiction. Now, let me be clear about each of these addictions. Porn addiction isn't just about going onto the hub and stroking one out. It's also about you following these TikTok girls who all they do is shake their asses on camera looking for a bit of male validation. Partying isn't just about going to parties and being a social animal. It's also about drinking alcohol excessively, taking drugs, fucking up your sleep schedule and hooking up with random crusty strangers. Social media addiction isn't just about endlessly doom scrolling through Instagram. It's also about the way you only express your falsely constant positivity on stories, always trying to be perceived as the guy who views the cup as half full. Procrastination addiction isn't just about you not doing what you know you're supposed to be doing. It's also about the way you watch 40 top three productivity hack videos in a row to try and convince yourself that you're not still a pussy and you're making progress. Lastly, sedentary lifestyle addiction isn't just about lying around doing nothing. It's also about justifying putting off the gym until Monday or telling yourself that you'll start eating healthily on the 1st of January. These are all common traits and characteristics of people who are in season zero of self-improvement, which is the total Jeffrey phase. Now, throughout this video, I'm gonna give you action steps and also potential pitfalls. So make sure you stay tuned because I'm gonna be suggesting things that you can do based on whichever stage you identify yourself as being in. So this is gonna be a valuable video, so make sure you strap in and you get ready for these because yeah, it's gonna be worth your time. The action step for you viewers who are in season zero or the total Jeffrey stage, your action step is a very simple step. It is to scroll down right now and press that little subscribe button down there. You know, you know the one I'm talking about, right? Make sure you turn on the notification bell as well because I don't post videos like on Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. I post videos sporadically because I'm a young man who also has a job outside of YouTube. So you don't want to miss out on these videos. So make sure you turn on the notification bell as well as pressing subscribe. What you need right now is exposure therapy. The more of my videos you watch, the more you will understand this whole sphere of self-improvement and the better a man or woman that you will become. So yeah, press subscribe before I move on to the next season right now. Now, before I actually get into season one of self-improvement, I wanna take a quick pause for an intermission so that I can make one thing abundantly clear to you today. Though you may take the things that I say as degrading, demeaning, or insulting, my greatest philosophy in life is that if the shoe fits, you should wear it, bro. Therefore, if I say something in this video that offends or insults you, rather than mor moralizing and virtue signaling in the comments below, maybe you should try on the shoe for size. If the shoe does end up fitting you, Understand that your feet have the ability to grow. You just have to grant them the time and the space to do so. I genuinely want the best for you and I want every single one of my subscribers to grow. I just have an unconventional method of motivating people to do so. 
So with that disclaimer out of the way, let's jump right into season one of self-improvement, which is the Christmas noob season. Tis the season to be spam watching videos from the likes of myself, Hamza, First Man, and the other self-improvement goats who have paved the way for us young men. This is probably the softest season of self-improvement because essentially all you have to do is consume as much self-improvement content as you possibly can. To loosely quote Robert Greene in his book, Mastery, this is your apprenticeship phase. This is the season where you watch all of my videos and you really internalize, reflect upon and contemplate the aspects of self-improvement that I div divulge in my videos. Although this is a soft, enjoyable phase, it is actually the season in which self-improvement will either make or break you. During the Christmas noob season, your metal will be tested, bro. You will watch many videos from the likes of myself and Hamza in which we are seemingly quite insulting or degrading towards you. During this season, you will either cave in to our mean words and you'll go back to watching your soft, feel good, soppy bullshit and you won't, you won't make any progress as a man or you will have the strength and resilience to realize that perhaps there is an element of truth in the mean or nasty or degrading words that we say. Because bro, let me be honest, I used to be like you. I literally went through this exact phase that you are in right now where I pretty much watched all of Hamza's videos and felt like an absolute bum. But please have the resilience to realize that this is an absolute rite of passage. You must be willing to look at your unattractive, skinny fat, unhealthy self and realize that you can and must do better. It is your duty as a man to fulfill your potential and your purpose. With that in mind, let me share a potential pitfall for this phase. There is a potential pitfall in this season, which I will warn you about right now to save you having to learn the hard way. If you properly internalize the advice and suggestions that I give you, you may start thinking that you are further ahead than you actually are. You may start living almost vicariously through me and thinking that because you watch my videos or Hamza's videos or First Man's videos that you are some self-improved master who doesn't need to go through the trials and tribulations. But the truth is, bro, you're not. Understand that you are still a student who wants to learn from the titans of self-improvement rather than a competitor. Keep an open mind and don't fully commit to one YouTuber's take on self-improvement. Now, let me share an action step with you, the man who is in season one of self-improvement, which is the Christmas noob. During this season, your biggest action step is to immerse yourself in the world of self-improvement. Watch videos, read books, buy courses, and so on. Really internalize the advice and suggestions that I provide you with in my videos. It would be wise to start trying out new things like meditation, no fap, breathing exercises, healthy eating, sleeping well, exercising, and so on. Basically, the more you learn and the more you try out in this season, the more likely you are to progress onto the next season of self-improvement, which is season two the seasoned intermediate. This season can be the most enjoyable or the most monotonous and boring and painful season, depending on the relationship that you develop with discipline and perseverance. To quote Hamza, discipline is doing the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. During this season, you will either learn to love the fact that you are progressing from one minute of meditation to five minutes every day, or you might try meditating for 30 minutes and quitting after 30 seconds. You will either learn to love the fact that you can lift 2.5 kg heavier dumbbells than last week, or you will become impatient and want to bench 100 kg immediately. Basically, during this season, you will either have the strength to love the process or the weakness to quit the process. And that is probably the most frustrating thing about this season, bro. 
it is the time period when you realize that self-improvement is, in fact, a process. And to be honest, it's a pretty long process. So I urge you not to sign up for it if you think that you're just going to quit after a month. Keep in mind that the only real failure in life is not trying, though. All that considered, let me warn you about the potential pitfall of the seasoned intermediate season. This is the first real bottleneck of self-improvement where people tend to quit and give up. During this stage, it is easy to get impatient and frustrated that you haven't seen many tangible real life results yet. You've worked on becoming more attractive, yet you still don't seem to be attracting many women into your life. You've been consistently gymming for six months now, but you still have those big old love handles. You might have even tried setting up your own business only to be completely overwhelmed by the sheer amount of legal and administrative bullshit it takes to do so. The pitfall here is that you are wanting results too fast. Remember when I told you that this is a process. You wouldn't plant the seed of an apple tree and expect to eat an apple from that tree in the same day, would you? The harsh truth is that, realistically bro, you probably still have another year's worth of self-improvement to get through before you start seeing those results that you're so eager to obtain. This leads me to the action step of season two of self-improvement, which is double down on your good habits that you've been building and start eliminating your bad habits. Instead of meditating for 10 minutes in the morning and jacking off for 10 minutes at night, Meditate during both of those time periods. Replace as many bad habits as possible with good habits. Build up your discipline through the likes of cold showers and consistent journaling. Consistency and discipline are utterly paramount in this season, so focus on them and forget about the results for the time being. The results only come after you've put in your 10,000 hours during this phase, your sole purpose should be progression in all the good habits that you've built up so far. Do not quit now. You owe it to your future self and your future family to become the man that you know you want to become. Season three is halfway home. Now, this is a very interesting season because I think this is where the vast majority of self-improvers are currently located and also where people fall off track and become resentful towards self-improvement. If you do season two correctly, you can actually skip this season to be honest, but I think most people are stuck in the halfway home bottleneck that I will discuss shortly. During this season, you, you have become very good at all your good habits. You've pretty much mastered your sleep, you're making noticeable progress in the gym, you may have even found yourself a cute girlfriend. You're not spending as much time doing the negative habits that we previously mentioned. Well, at least that's what you tell yourself. This is the season where I'm going to hit you with the harshest of truths. So get ready, bro. Season three, halfway home, is the season of cope. You are coping if you were in this season, bro. If you're in season three, halfway home, you're coping. Be honest with me right now. Do you truly believe that it is acceptable to only fap once a week? Do you believe that one hour of video games per day isn't that bad? Do you truly believe that watching self-improvement videos on YouTube is a productive use of your time? If you're watching this video right now and you're in the halfway home season of self-improvement, I'm disappointed in you, bro. Because for all the time you spend coping and procrastinating, you could be perfecting that spin kick that you're learning in MMA class. For all the time you spent intellectualizing in the comments under my videos, you could be sending outreach emails trying to promote the business that you set up. For all the time you spend up on your high horse, moralizing about what's right and what's wrong and you should do this and you shouldn't do that. Bro, you could be reading a relationship book so that you stop being a dick to your girlfriend. The truth is, this whole season is a pitfall or a bottleneck of self-improvement. If you actually took the action step in season two, 
You wouldn't have replaced your bad habit of jacking off with procrastinating by convincing yourself that now just isn't the right time to set up a business. If you're in the halfway home season of self-improvement, you've fallen off track, bro. If you're honest with yourself, you haven't doubled down on your good habits. You've just replaced your bad habits with slightly less bad habits. I expect better from you, bro, and you should expect better from yourself. So that leads me to the action step for season three of self-improvement, which is to truly realize the value of your time, bro. All that time spent indulging in negativity online is time that you could have spent doing things that will actually progress you. If you're currently halfway home, you need to start being tougher on yourself and doing the hard work, the hard, boring work, especially when you don't feel like it. Remind yourself of what your true goals are, whatever they may, may be for you. Write a list of your goals and then write a list of the daily actions you are taking. If you're in season three, chances are most of your actions, or at least some of them, aren't aligned with your goals. If you have a goal to get a six pack, but you're still eating sweeties, you're coping, bro. You are coping. So stop the coping and start realizing the power of your time, energy, and focus. Align your actions with your goals, put in your 10,000 hours, and soldier on to the final season, which is season four, the self-improved master. Welcome, brother. You have reached your final destination. Well, actually, no, that is only a half truth. The whole truth is that there is no final destination of self-improvement. There is no final season. There is a well-known saying that states that whatever is not growing is dying. And that is the fundamental truth of self-improvement. If you were to reach the final season and just quit, you would, as all humans do, retire to the path of least resistance. By now, you're in a constant meditative state. By now, you have a fantastically strong physique. By now, you understand and apply all the advice and wisdom regarding your health and well-being that you glean from the likes of myself and Hamza and so on. By now, you have attracted a healthy partner or at least are making progress in doing so. By now, you have relieved yourself of all your bad habits and your days pretty much just consist of a baseline of self-improvedness. You have become a master of self-improvement and now it is time for you to strive for greatness. But as I said, what is not growing is dying. So what is next for someone who has already mastered something? If you have become the self-improved master, how can you progress any further in it? These questions allude to the final bottleneck or potential pitfall of the seasons of self-improvement. If you are in this season of self-improvement, you're probably scratching your head right now and asking yourself, okay, but what next? Well, luckily for you, bro, I am about to tell you what's next. It is time for you to start facing the big bad world. It is time for you to start understanding that you have responsibilities to take on. You have a purpose to fulfill. You have a legacy to leave behind. This is the season for you to start asking yourself things like, how am I going to pay the bills? And what do I want to achieve that is bigger than just myself? This is the season in which you stop turning to external sources for answers and you start going inside yourself for answers. You must now start asking yourself questions instead of turning to the likes of me and the likes of Hamza and the like of, likes of First Man looking for answers to those questions. Because the truth is, bro, this is your life. Let me reiterate that. This is your life. You are living your life. I am living mine. The things I enjoy and the, ambition, the ambitions that I have are not and should not be the same as yours. Start thinking about what it is that you enjoy doing and what you are passionate about. 
And if you don't have an answer to that, think back to your childhood about what made you the happiest. If I'm honest, bro, I felt happiest as a child when I was learning about complex topics and then sharing them with anyone who would listen to me. Communication and explaining concepts for people, connecting dots between abstract theories and just helping people understand the world around them is what brings me personally the most joy. And that is why I am here today, bro, explaining these seasons of self-improvement to you. This is what brings me fulfillment and it is what I am most passionate about. And I feel so blessed that some of you are here today to listen to me and to kind of let me share my ideas and beliefs with you. So thank you for your continued support. And I look forward to seeing how big we can grow together, bro. Now that I've got the sentimental shit out of the way, let me give you some action steps for the self-improved master season. Firstly, you need to establish your baselines. This is basically like the maintenance phase of self-improvement. You need to figure out exactly how often you need to meditate, how often you need to hit the gym, how often you need to get a perfect night's sleep, and so on, in order to maintain your productivity, health, and relationships right now. I'm gonna let you in on a secret right now, bro. There is another season that you can progress to, and it's the most important season of them all. However, chances are you're not truly there yet, bro. I will make a video on the next season, which is gonna be called the Business Tycoon season, but I'm gonna make you wait for that, just so that I can help you level up your patience and your discipline skill. Now, I'm not gonna waste time doing a long ass and outro for this video, because it's already long enough. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by pressing like and dropping some comments below. If you've watched this far and haven't already subscribed, what the hell are you doing, bro? Press subscribe right now so that you don't miss out on valuable content from me in the future. I promise you it will be worth it. But I'm going to leave it there, bro, because that's all I've got for today. So until next time.